big. We're going to study three kinds of XML files, and the first one we're going to study is an instance. And I want to give you an idea of why we call it an instance, and, and in particular, what's it an instance of. So the word instance is a general concept. You can use that to describe anything that is a specific implementation or instantiation of a general concept. For example, you are an instance of a student. You're an instance of a human being. You're an instance of many general classes. The class is abstract. And then there's a specific example of that class. That's you. The class is student, and a specific example is you as a student. In the world of XML, we have the instance as an XML file, and we call it an instance because it's an instance of a schema. The schema is the general rules, the schema is the abstract class, the schema is the abstract principle, and the instance instantiates or is an instance of that schema. That's why we call it an instance. If you're familiar with programming, you'll know the idea of a class and an instance. The class is, again, the general concept, the abstract principle, the, the uh, more general, and the instantiation of the class is, uh, is a specific instance, is a specific um, one of that class. So we'll study the class later. We'll study the idea of the schema later. For now, it's, um, it's sufficient just for you to understand that when we talk about an instance file, which you might have thought of in the past as an XML file, and you'll see in the future that there's many kinds of XML files, but the one that has the extension .xml is an instance file, and it is an instance of the schema that has the general rules that it has to obey.